In this video, you will learn the history of hunting and what tools they used. You will also learn about the history of fishing and how they fished. As long as 6,000 years ago, the people of the Middle East were using a system of stone structures to funnel thousands of migrating gazelles and other animals into traps where they could be killed and butchered. A new study has determined. Humans may have driven a species of gazelles to the brink of extinction with unsustainable mass kill strategies. Guy Barr, Oz, Melinda Zeta and Frank Hull report in today's online early edition of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, PNAS. Hawaiians used many fishing methods. Hook and line were used to catch medium-sized fish as well as sharks, squid and octopus. The most reliable line was made from Alona, one of the world's strongest plant fibres. Hooks were shaped from a single piece of human, bird or dog bone, pearl or turtle shell, whale, ivory or wood. Composite hooks combined two or more pieces lashed together. Stone, coral or shell tools were used to shape the hooks. Hook carved barbs, the largest hooks were built for sharks, made of wood or a composite, composite of wood with a bone point. They measured 7 to 11 inches long. Fishermen stored lines and hooks in gourd containers. Stone sinkers took many shapes. The plummet from Oort Falenka is unique to Hawaii and was made to carry lines to the bottom of deep fishing grounds. While in shallow water, a fisherman could easily see the sandy or rock bottom, it was more difficult to get visual bearings in deep water. Oil from roasted cookie nuts, chewed and spat on the surface, increased visibility to six phantoms, 120 feet. Hawaiians made lures as well as hooks. Most, the most striking are the quarry shell lures for catching squid and octopus. One or two quarry shells and a stone sinker were lashed to a wooden shaft that also supported a bone hook. The lure might also include a hackle of tea leaf strips. Different quarry shells lure were used to fish at particular times of day, depending on colour, ocean conditions and the seafloor. Some lures passed down through the generations became famous in stories and chants. Some were named for ancestors or ladies. Kamamaku wrote that some rulers were so powerful and attractive that it would simply be sh showed over to the side of the boat and squids came climbing in. Fishermen used fish, shrimp or crab to bait their hooks. They used live bait to attract and hold a school of fish, ground bait. Cut pieces of fish pounded soft as wrapped in a cloth package on with a baited hook. The whole bundle weighted the lowered to the sea bottom. The line was then jerked free and the hook swallowed by fish attracted to the bait. Squid ink bait made from the roasted ink sack mixed with plant ingredients was put on the fish hook tip to catch small fish near shore. Spears. Hawaiian used spears to fish in shallows or along rocky edges, ledges or underwater to catch rock fishes. Night spear fishing inside the reef was done by the light of the cooking nut torches as the bright light attracted the fish in shallows.